Welcome back inside HQ, everybody. Kevin Barnett here, and today we're talking tables. Whether you just purchased the Shapeoko 5 Pro or you're upgrading from a 3 or a 4 to the new machine, you're going to have to craft a home for it, a place for it to be in your shop. When it comes to a CNC table, I have three main concerns. Machine support, mobility, and storage. Let's run through those three categories. We'll give you a bunch of details and ideas on what you might construct for your own personal shop. We'll start with machine support. For our setup here in HQ, underneath our 4x4 Shapeoko 5 Pro, we decided to go with the Craig Universal Table System. It is a 64x64 64 64 modular unit. It's basically a variety of different parts to create a frame. You then have to supply your own top, and if you want to make a shelf underneath or any sort of substructure, you can build that to the frame itself. I found this structure to be extremely capable and flexible. In my own shop, I had a 4x8 assembly table, when I decided I was done with it, when my shop morphed back to a different shape, I went ahead and disassembled that entire table. At 64 by 64, the Craig is a little bit oversized, and that's on purpose. We left a little bit of space around the machine so that you can set tools in the front or you can run cables through the back. It leaves you some options and some space. Now I know this area here could definitely get crowded with tools and become quite a mess. That does happen mid-project. However, having this space does keep you from setting tools and other things right on the bed of the machine, near your project, something that might interfere with the gantry movement if you forget that it's there. I like this setup. In my own home shop, I don't have this space, but I think going forward, I definitely will. The beauty of the Shapeoko 5 Pro is it's 100% of a machine. You're not looking to add any structure to the machine via the tabletop. You're just looking for a nice flat spot to set it. Next up, mobility. If your shop is anything like mine, the ability to configure it for the project at hand is critical. Additionally, with the 4x4 or 4x2 format of the Shapeoko 5 Pro, you're gonna want access to four sides of the machine, and you're definitely gonna wanna be able to move it out into the middle of your shop and index some plywood through for larger projects. The heavy duty capability of these machines comes at a cost and that is weight. So you wanna make sure whatever casters you buy are high quality. Additionally, you want them to lock. That's one thing I like about the Craig casters. They're high quality, they're meant for this system and their locks perform outstanding. They're easy to step on to both lock and unlock. In your small shop, put locking wheels on everything, not just your CNC. Factor number three is storage. You're gonna want some drawers and cabinets and space below for shop vac, dust deputy, end mills, clamps, other assorted materials, whatever you wanna put below your machine. This is actually where the Craig system comes up a little bit short in its stock form. There's definitely space for a multi-sided cabinet and drawer array. It'd be 100% custom and it's gonna add some cost to your overall build, but I could definitely see somebody out there developing a set of plans specific to the Craig tables. Those factors established, what are your options? If you're upgrading from a three or a four, say an XXL machine, to a four x four, you can take your existing base and add a 64 by 64 or 60 by 60 top to that base. That's probably your most economical option. We have recommended previously the Seville tables. We've used them underneath our own XXL machine for the last few years. Those can be spaced further apart and a new top established. Another option to consider is a pre-made cabinet setup. One of the members of our team recommended this 60 inch wide Home Depot setup, buy two of them, put them back to back with a little bit of space and you've created your 64 by 64 square. With the addition of some plywood and casters underneath, all of a sudden you have a mobile base that already has cabinetry and drawers established. If you really want to invest some money, go ahead and buy a couple of automotive benches and put those back to back. You might spend a thousand dollars, but you'll have the best drawers in the land and that will be one heavy duty base. Of course, you always have the option to go full custom. Maybe you want something specific. Maybe you just enjoy the challenge. Maybe you definitely want an enclosure. Do it. When you do it, make sure you show us. Get on the forum, Facebook, Instagram. Be sure and tag us so that we can see what you're doing with your new machine, how you're supporting it, what you're adding to the space around it, and of course, always what you're making. Put in the comments below your thoughts on how to support these machines, what you like in a machine base, what you're looking for and what your experience has taught you about CNC. And we'll be back here in the studio with more information, ideas, and inspiration.